uh, game is not suitable for children, I'm aware. Be bigger! Thank you. Okay. Oh, you're not going to be able to hear it, which kind of sucks. Ah, uh, true. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I agree. I agree. Oh, it's going to be loud. Oh, shit. Hold on. Team Salveto! Yeah. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> the music is so fucking happy. Uh, Next speed. Hang on. Auto four times. The unseen text. Come on, turn down. See, nah, be. You can't. You can't be all weird already. It hasn't started. <laughs> Watch this just for looks. Oh, there we go. What? Why did it only jump? Go up a little. Now you're quiet. Okay, good. Sound volume. All right, there. Good. Alright, we're gonna do a new game. What's our name? A. A. <laughs> a. No, let's... Just like every name I choose. Alright. A. That's my name for every game. A. Hey! There you go. I <laughs> see. I see an annoying girl running towards me in the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Alright, so Joe's going to take the role of our protagonist here. The girl is Se Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were for our children. You know the kind of friend that you've never seen yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you know each other for so long. Question mark? Question mark. We used to walk to high school together on days like this, but star starting, but starting around high school, she o would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. Same. But if she's going to chase it after me like this, I, I almost feel better off running away. <laughs> However, I just sigh and I idle in front of the crosswalk to let Soria catch up to me. She loves me, but I don't even know. What I'm <laughs> <laughs> I overslept again! You silly goose. <laughs> but I got you this time! Oh god! I swear I'm just using shake weight. <laughs> That's you, you're A. Oh, <laughs> maybe, but only because I decided to stop waiting for you. Yeah, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. Yeah, maybe, you never know. That means A! That's, hey! That's me! <laughs> Well, if people s stare at you for acting weird, then I don't know them to think they're a couple of something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. Nah, babe. <laughs> I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Yeah, you can think that. <laughs> Whatever you say, Sora. That's basically what I said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Squiggle. We cross the street together and make our way to school. We... As we draw near the streets, become increasingly speckled, spe speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, A. It's yeah. A stupid fucking name. Have you decided Thanks. to join a club yet? Nah, B. <laughs> a club? I told you already. I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. Why? Because it's not a great way to stay in shape. Oh, okay. I haven't. Didn't looking either. Ah, oh, that's and not true. Yeah, it is. I just said you it. You told me you were joining a club this year. I lied. <laughs> I did? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's possible. Wait, I gotta do a, a different voice for the, for the, narration. For the uh, announcer. <clears throat> I'm sure it's possible that uh, I did in one of our uh, many conversations where so uh, I dismissively go along with uh, whatever she's uh, going on about. Soya likes to uh, worry a little uh, too much about me when I'm perfectly content and just laying on by average while spending my free time on games and anime. Yo, sounds like me. Yeah, uh, this is perfect for you. Uh-huh. I was talking to you about how I worry that you would learn how to socialize and have any skills before college. Nah, B. <laughs> Your happiness is really important to me, you know. God damn it. Keep telling yourself that. 
and I know you're happy now, but I'd die at yeah. the thought of you becoming a meat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Good, die, murder. <laughs> you trust me, right? Nah. Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. <laughs> you're like, all right, shut up. <laughs> I'll look at a few clubs that makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise you'll try a little? Nah. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh, I'll promise you that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> get a little too giggy to the point. <laughs> Why do I let my lecturer get by... Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? Carefree girl. I can't read. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relate on her to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to uh, ease her mind at least for a little bit, even if she uh, exaggerates everything inside of her head. The school today, the school day is ordinary as ever. It's over, but before I know it. After I pack up my things, I, sh I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Same, though. Same. Clubs? Soya wants to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with Anime Club. Yo! There you go. Hello? Hey. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I must have to come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Ah, oh, dick. <laughs> Honestly, Honestly you... that's God don't steal my fucking lines. I'm sorry. <laughs> Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. Yo, I impressed the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> You don't need to wait up for me if if it's going to make you late you're for your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, Yo. you know... Yo! Now what? Well, that you could come to my club. Yo, clubs! So yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to your club. Yeah, meanie. Soria is vice president of the literature club. Wow, nerd. <laughs> not, <laughs> not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. You know, same. The main character is literally you. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Nah, B. Why do I care so much, anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. Yo, you lied. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Oh, oh cupcakes, <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. Do it. I can tell if Sonya is really that much of an airhead, or if she's coming on as if she has planned this all out. I left out. I let out a long sigh. <sighs> you bitch. <laughs> Fine, I'll stop for a buy for a cupcake. Okay. See, this is my kind of guy. <laughs> this is literally you, the character. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yay! Let's go. <laughs> Thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> I dejectedly follow Soya across the school upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Soya, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. How you doing? <laughs> I told you, don't call me a new member. Uh, I glance around the classroom. Um. Welcome to the literature <laughs> club. It's a pleasure meeting you. She's like a smoker. Oh yeah, it always says nice things about you. Yo, nice things. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah. 
What a surprise. Ah, what a surprise. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the club. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> oh, all worlds escape in this me in this situation. This this club. It's full of incredible cute girls. Yo. If you want to say something, just say it. Sorry? <laughs> there should be a question mark there. <laughs> Natsuke. <laughs> the girl with the sore, sore, eh. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuke, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she probably is a uh, first year... You always into girl, little girls, Wait, yeah. Travis. <laughs> <laughs> she also is one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. To Sayori. So Sayori. Sayori. You, you could just ignore her when she gets moody. Yo, I mean, period. Yeah, Sayori says <laughs> uh, quietly into my <laughs> ear, and, and she turns towards the other girls. Anyway, this is not so good. Always full of energy. Yo! And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't, don't say things like that. Y Yuri, who appears com comparably more mature and timed, seems to have ha ha hard time keeping up with people like Soya and Natsuke. Uh, well, it's nice to meet you both. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. Should get like a, a black guy voice for that person. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, it's to, see great you again, to see you again, eh? Natsuke smiles sweetly. Monica. Oh, Monica, whatever her name is. <laughs> Natsuke. <laughs> we do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Manu Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Yo. Basically, completely out of my league. Yo, same like with every girl I meet. <laughs> so, I smile is at me generally feels a little. You, you too, Monica? Come sit down, eh? We made room for you at the table so you can sit near me or Monica. I right, got cupcakes! Yo, cupcakes! Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, you get a little too excited. Then, how about I make some tea as well? Yo, tea. The girls have a few desks arranged on a form of a table. As Saori mentioned, it's been winnened so that there's no one space next to Monaco and one space next to Saori. Natsuke and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuke grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take the seat next to Soye. Natsuke proudly m marches back to the table, to tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Natsuke lifts the foil <laughs> off the drawer. The reveal doesn't white, fluffy, and cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Yo, we're eating cats. Yo, we're eating pussy. Yo. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate that were used to make the ears. So, so like, so descriptive. So cute. I had no idea you were good at baking, Natsuki. Eh, yeah, well, you know. Just to we can take one. Saruri so grabs one fist, then Manuke follows. It's delicious! Sori talks with her mouth full as she already managed to get icing on her face. That's so hot! Yo, let me lick the frosting. <laughs> I turn the cupcake around my fingers, looking at the best angle for the take a bite. Yo! For your measuring. <laughs> Suke is quiet. I can't help but to notice her seeking, sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Didn't fucking like it. That's ah, creepy. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Probably bought it from a can. <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> a fucking can. 
<laughs> thank you, Natsuke. Yeah. Well, why you thank me? It's not like I... I haven't heard this somewhere before. Maybe Question for you or anything. Hey, hey, I thought you technically did, so you said. Well, maybe. But not for you, you know, you dummy. You don't have to rub it in. Right, alright. Bitch. I give up, and Natsuke weird logic and dismisses the conversation. Yuri turns, returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places the teacups in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole <laughs> tea set in the classroom? That's A. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you talking like me? Because I started smoking cigarettes. Me too. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> Don't worry. That's Yuri. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, the teachers gave us promise permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? What's it do with it? Oh, yeah, we're in literature class. <laughs> ah, I, I guess? <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to oppress you. <laughs> that, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that... You know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. Yo, saying this guy is me. <laughs> I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Manu Monica re raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. I'm like Dwayne Johnson. Man, this guy gets all the bitches. So... What made you consider the literature club? Um, don't worry about it. <laughs> I was afraid to ask, uh, afraid of this question. Something, something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was pr practically dragged here by Soria. Soria. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Soria seemed really happy here, so that's yeah, okay. Don't be embarrassed. Well, make sure you feel right at home, okay? Let's turn to a John Travolta real quick. <laughs> As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make sh uh, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, Monica, Ma Monica, I'm surprised. You better be. How come you decided to start your own club? Cause I'm the boss. You probably be bored by me be a board member for any other major club. Oh, yeah. Weren't you a leader of debate club last year? To bake these tits. Ah, oh, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand for the politics around all the major clubs. It feels Same like that. nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to uh, you pretend uh, for prepare for events, you know. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to take into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Yo, you're Martin Luther King. Yeah, MLK, bitch. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she just talks in like the third person. <laughs> Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm impressed. There aren't more people in the club yet. Oh, I'm surprised. surprised. I'm impressed. There's no one here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read, okay? <laughs> it must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort and start something brand new. Especially with something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You know, that thing that I'm running. You have to work on to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. So you gotta... Oh, let me try. Well, don't fucking do it. But it makes... Oh, take off your shirt. Nah. But it makes school events like festivals that much more important. I'm yeah, confident that... Closer. Hey, don't fucking interrupt me. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before uh, we graduate. You can see. Think that. Right, everyone? Ah! Happy. <laughs> you should <but> Same! <laughs> Same! <laughs> you know it, bitch. 
everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Yeah, one of them's high pitch, one's a bitch, one's a smoker, and one's John Travolta. This is a weird. Yo, a weird click. <laughs> Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why we were all so delighted by the idea of a new member tour. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, hey, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, your tits. <laughs> Considering how little I've read these past years, I don't want to have a good way of answering that. Manga? <laughs> I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuke's head suddenly perks up. What's that? Yo. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Speak up, bitch. <laughs> no, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. How's the smile sad? <laughs> and anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri twists the rim of her teacup with her fingers, which you can clearly see in the visual. Totally, it's in her boobs. Yeah. My favorites are usually novels that build deep, complex fantasy worlds. Yo, oh, grow up in the titties. <laughs> Only was like the hand, the hand icon. <laughs> Yo, squeeze, squeeze. <laughs> Giggity. Please just skip that. I didn't even get the ring. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> Here, wait. Hold up, hold up. Okay, which one was it? Oh, come on. Dude, that one. There you go. My favorites are usually novels, but I... Oh, no, I read that one already. Oh, okay, then fuck it. <laughs> and telling a good story is such a foreign world and equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly, passionate about her reading. I stopped listening, so I don't care. Same. She seems so rever rever uh, reversed in time since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds herself in for comfort in the world of books and not people. Hunter? It's Hunter. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep physiological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately <laughs> take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Yo, Fruit Loops. Yo! Anyways, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. It is Hunter! Yeah. Ah. Uh, ah. I read a book of horror <laughs> once. <laughs> I desperately grasp at something I can relate at minimum level. At uh, this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Oh, Rock? The Johnson? Really? I wouldn't expect that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Yeah, I'll take you to another world. <laughs> hey, nice, you just skipped it. <laughs> Did I? Yeah, you did. Yeah, whoops. And you just skipped that one, too. No, I just read that one. Well, oh, what's that? Well, I just... Natsuke's eyes drew, dart over to me for a split sec. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left the piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. I looked, it looked like you were working on a poem called. Just say it out loud, bitch! Hey, Yo. Give that back! Cafe! Yeah, fine, fine, chill out. Hey, your cupcakes, your poems! Everything <laughs> you do is just as cute as you are! So, Urius sidles up behind Natsuke and puts her hand on her shoulder. Yo! I'm not cute! Okay. Natsuke, Natsuke, you write your own poems? <laughs> yeah, well, I guess sometimes. Why oh. do you care? Because you're hot. I think that's impressive. 
You like my five hairstyles in one? Because yeah. I got like this shit, and then I got little spikes. And, you're little, and your bow in the front. It looks like a time capsule. Yeah, I got everything going on right here. All of it. What? Why don't you share them sometime? No. Why not? <laughs> Natsuka, yeah, averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah! <laughs> not a very convincing writer, right? <laughs> I understand how Nosuye feels. Thank you. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. You need level. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your readers, exposing your. I'm not going to attempt that word. Vulnerability. Ah, and even the deepest <laughs> reaches of your heart. <laughs> do you have writing experience too, Yuri? You better win the literature club. All we do is write. I'm in a literature club and I don't even know big words. <laughs> Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help that Sue feel more comfortable and have to share hers. You know, her shitty, shitty poems. Da, da, da. I guess it's a shame for shame for you, Yuri. Ah, way to put her down. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. I'm gonna read everything. Third. Whoa, what, what, all sit. We all sit in silence for a moment. See, awkward silence because I made a comment like that. Okay. I have an idea if you want. Question mark? Question mark? Oh, we should have said that at the same time. <laughs> Natsuke and Yuri look puzzled. Quizzically. Quiz Quizzically. Who? Why does this game have such big words? It's essentially puzzled. Right, next one. Let's all go home and write poems of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. So if you suck, you're in the public eye. If you're good, you're in the public eye. Go it's a win-win situation for me. Because I'm great. Um... Da, da, da. Yeah, let's do it! <laughs> Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other. And strengthen the bond of the club. Especially because this new guy is trash. So we all will look good. Wow, dead! Isn't that right, eh? One of us smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. It yeah, was that. What the fuck? What, what, you got a problem? What's that fits that? so perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> like the way she said that, the accent. Yeah. No, we're back to, to the original topic of me joining the club. I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. So Ruby may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decisions. I still have the other clubs to look at, and, and uh, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> that also sounds like you. <laughs> <laughs> All four girls stared stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, but I'm sorry. I thought. <laughs> hey. That's my favorite letter. I'm just saying a letter. I think every time it says my name, you should be like, uh. Like, you'd be like, eh, eh. You know, I was wondering, uh. How are you? <laughs> you, you all know? I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes lit up. Yes, it's happening! Storia wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, hey! You really did scare me for a moment. If you really did. If you only just came in for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Maybe. And that makes it official. 
Welcome to the Literature Club. You're part of Yo, the, I'm part of the Literature Club. Part of the family. Don't you ever, no. don't you ever fuck over the family. By the family. way, her hair and the, the pink girl all the way to the left, it looks like a mustache. <laughs> Eat my hair, bitch. It looks like a beard. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> that looks even more like a beard. Yeah. Ah, ah. Thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone will remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem and bring it to the next meeting, and we'll all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Hey, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. He <laughs> he. <laughs> but yeah can i really impress this class star monica with my mediocre writing skills nah b <laughs> I, I already feel anxiety welling up inside meanwhile the girls continue to chit chat and yuri and Nasuke clean up the food hey hey since we're already here you want to walk home together yo uh, that's Rory. Soria and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, I might as well. <coughs> With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Soria. Natsuke. Yuri, and of course, Manuka. Yo, what's up? Will I really be happy spending every day after school at the literature club? Perhaps I'll have a chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll just need to make most of my criticism. I'm sure I'm good. Same thing. <laughs> and for fortunate will find me. I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. All right. Now we gotta write a poem. Oh god. Uh, thing's gonna pop up in the video. Uh, okay. I just wanted to see how far it was. All right. So. Uh. We uh we just pick words. Misery. Misery. Right. Whoops. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you just clicked on three of them. Well, dokey dokey. <laughs> Doki Doki! Disaster! Disaster. Fuck! Nice! Let me use the trackpad, it might be a little easier. Chocolate. Chocolate. Nope. 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 What the fuck? <laughs> it's like multi clicking. Lipstick. Lipstick. <laughs> we get like an extra word without knowing what it is. <laughs> and empty. <laughs> Um, uh, question? <laughs> question, that's, that's fitting. Imagine games. if games. Determination. Yo. Twirl. Twirl. <laughs> Do spin in a twirl. And buddy. Agonizing. Buddy. <laughs> buddy. Does it actually read out the poem? Uh, no, ours doesn't actually get rid off, but we do read theirs. That's stupid. What's the point? I get it. it okay, uh, you didn't really super notice it, but when you pick a word on the left-hand side, their little cutouts will jump up and down uh, because uh -huh. there are specific words dedicated to each girl. So it's like if you pick more of this girl's words, oh, then you're... it le the story leans towards them. Ah. Uh... Yeah. Hey, Gene. Glad to see you didn't run away from us. Ah, hey, you a little bitch. I thought you were. Guess you're not. That's cool. Hey, look, mom thought about it. Nah, <laughs> don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was in the I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, eh? I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive at first into literature when you're not ac accustomed to it. I feel like later you're gonna hate that she has that voice. I know, like, I'm already hating it now. Yeah, you might want to switch I, it because she's gonna be a talker later. 
Oh god. <laughs> You're gonna lose your it. vocal cords. I feel like Frieza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just give her like just give her Vegeta's voice. Make a new dive head first into literature. Yeah. Kakarot. Oh come on now. Like he deserves any slack. Whoops, now I'm turning to John Travolta. Whoops. Siri told me he didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year too, he's such a lazy bitch. Alright, go to the next fucking thing. I don't know if you plan to come here, just hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you will see the end of it. Nasuki has certainly got a big mouth for someone who keeps a manga collection in the club room. Man, look at this little bitch over here giving a manga collection. What are you, seven? <laughs> Nasuke finds herself stuck between saying Manokia and manga. Manga is literature! <laughs> she has a point. Yeah. Swiftly defended, defeated, Natsuke plops back into her seat. Yeah, that's what I thought. How are you guys? Hey. Oh, he's getting his best look today. He's having fun. He has been busy working without even asking. Like Cookie and cleaning my room? He's my slave. Hell, dependable. Sorry, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. You don't even live there. And you almost set the house on fire once. <laughs> I mean, is that so? Uh, you know, fucking whatever. I'm gonna bring that up for the people. Kids are really good friends, aren't you? Yeah. I might be a little jealous. Fuck up. You and A. Can we be friends too? Um. Um. Sorry? <laughs> da, da, da. As usual, Sonya seems ob oblivious to the weird situation she was putting me into. Oh, oh! Yay! Even, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? What? what? Wait, sorry? Eh, eh me? Not really. Don't be shy! It's... it's really nothing. Oh shit. What... what is it? Bell Bell. Never mind. Sorry made it sound like a big deal when it's really oh, not. Oh, it's a big deal, alright. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh... what do I do? Just get out of the fucking thing. Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. Like usual. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. Sneak bells. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It will make me happy no matter what. It... Is it that so? Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't make a big deal out of it if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's short read, so I get that your attention, even if you don't usually read. She is literally oh. Frieza. I know. <laughs> like, it went from Smoker to just straight up Frieza. And, well, you can, you know, discuss it if you want it. That this is... That's not her. Oh. <laughs> this game is so confusing. <laughs> How is it this girl accidentally being so cute? So she even picked out books she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically took the book. Phew. <laughs> well, you can't read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monaco to kick off some sh scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't se seem to be the case. Saria and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. 
So, Yuri's face is already buried in the book. I can't help but to notice her intense expressions. She was waiting for the chance. Meanwhile, Natsuke is rumbling around in the classroom, in the closet. Ah. I hear Natsuke utter an acceptable sigh with the within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in the case in case she needs a hand. You look. You're looking for something in there. A hand. Yo. Freaking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point of keeping your collection or your eyes if someone's gonna if someone else is gonna mess it up? Natsuke slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes onto the, across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Ah uh, ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you really are into it until you figure out where the where the other person stands. How did you know anyway? I hit you bring it up in one point. Besides, it's kinda written on your face. <clears throat> What's that supposed to mean? I I see. There's a lone, a lone volume of manga <laughs> amidst um, a stack of various books on the side of the one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuke snatches it out of my head. She then turns into a box of manga and slips the volume right into the, her middle of the rest. Ah, much better. See, the box set with one box missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. <clears throat> I know where that feel. I'll get closer to look at the box set she's a Mary. Parfait? Girls? It's a series I never heard of myself. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic, demographic or it's simply terrible. <laughs> If you're going to judge, you can do it to the glass on the door. She points to the classroom door. Did they really have to just type that in? Yeah. Hey, hey I wasn't judging you anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, A. A. <laughs> Consider some lessons straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. It's a fact. How ironic. Yeah, right. <laughs> Natsuke pulls out her first volume of Parfait Girls from the box set. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoved the book right into my hands. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, streaking, animated, feminine poses. It's exceedingly moe. Mo. Moe. Moe. Whatever that means. It's like overly cute in Japanese. Ah. So just stand there. I don't know what to do. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you skipped it. She, the <laughs> she then takes a suit against the wall beneath the windowsill. She pats on the ground next to her. Signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? Nah. <clears throat> I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't be this at the same time like that. Hey, what's that? Ah! I guess it's easier to be closer together like this. <laughs> don't, don't just say that. Make it feel weird about it. Natsuke crosses her arms and scotches, scotches an inch, scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I could say I particularly a bad thing. Oh. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuke once again inches closer, reclaiming her the additional space while she hops, and I won't notice. 
I can't feel her peering over my I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much eager to begin reading than I am. Wow. It's, how long has it been since I've read the uh, since I've read the beginning? Um You didn't go back to flip through the older volumes every now and then. Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can't talk at the same time. It looks like I'm about it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typically, slice of life affair. I kinda grew out of these since it's rare for writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. So what should I expect from this? Is there going to be a plot? Obviously, we, you would you think I would enjoy something that doesn't have a plot? I mean, well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of beginnings about simple things, like this really funny chapter where they're obsessed with the guy in an ice cream shop. But that just helps. No ice cream. <laughs> but that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like, when they get all into their backstories, as some of the romance starts to happen, that's what really makes it so good. There's so many touching parts. Giggity. Ah, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> hey, wait. What's that supposed to mean? Don't worry about it. Oh, ah. What the fuck was that? That screw skate gives me what? Did you just like have a seizure? Yeah. Oh. That screw skate gives me a little shove. I, I just meant that I haven't seen you at your full power. What is this, Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> this isn't even my final form. <laughs> <laughs> Good save. Thank you. <laughs> ah, this chapter seems like it's about bar baking. This should. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well... Nasuke pauses for a moment, as if she didn't want to admit something. Yeah. Why does it matter? It doesn't! I was just curious. <laughs> I like cake! <laughs> <laughs> Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's... just a coincidence? Sure. I just happened to get more get into baking around the same time as I got this manga. It happens. You told yourself that. Like, I would ever get into something just because it's in a manga. I feel bad for anyone that, that that's that impressionable. <laughs> Definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains Nasuke's interest in baking. Still. Of all hobbies to pick up manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Not to mention, she really is good at it. Who am I to judge? <laughs> <laughs> we read for one mo for a few more minutes. I finished a couple of chapters at this point. Da, da, da. Are you sure this isn't boring you for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. See, this guy's me. Yeah. <laughs> I I guess it's fun sharing something like this with you, with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Uh... Hmm? You don't? Um, that's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, sorry. <laughs> like, I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga's for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Manga's for kids. Eh, you still haven't grown out of it yet. 
Makes me want to punch him in the face. Ugh, I know those kind of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I already, I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated towards the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? About it. I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe in here in the club room. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Line. <laughs> dot dot dot. So. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. You know, you're not the sample man. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Sorry. Are you gonna keep reading or what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I flipped the pages. Suddenly, Natsuke starts laughing. <laughs> I totally forgot about that happen. I thought I forgot that happens. Natsuke puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori is my favorite character. You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... <gasps> Ooh! I shouldn't... Did you just poop yourself? Don't worry about it. I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish the chapter. Natsuke voices sparkles with excitement. It's stark con contrast of her usual bossy tone. But if she's not using it for sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feelings you get when you connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that Natsuke for whom it's rare experience. She thought it makes her smile well, a little to her myself. Okay, everyone. Eh? Are you all ready to uh, go ready with today's poems? Da, da, da. Oh, come on. Could your timing be any worse? Yeah, sorry. I just need to make sure we have enough time. Though, you do look pretty cozy over there. Hey, <laughs> you little bitches over there in the corner. <laughs> Ah! Nozuzuke suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a good 20 inches away from me. Wow, damn. <laughs> Alright! <laughs> Guess I'll stop here for now. I'll close the book and hand it to us, Natsuke. Did you just give me it back? Did you want to know what happens? <coughs> uh, ah, yeah, but Monica just said, "Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you." Eh? Is that really all right? Well, I say that mostly because I really didn't plan on using my spare time to read those. Well, of course, it would take forever for you to finish if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. Gosh. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. By tomorrow? Well, only part way, though. The volume so far. I might fall behind on somehow some shows uh, if I try to get through this. But I suppose that's necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuke's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? No. Alright then. I stand up. I return to where I put my stuff carefully slip into the book, book into my little bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. 
Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I can really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't we find someone to share it with? I know it! Saruya and Monica enthusiastically pull out their bombs. Saruya is, is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf of torn from the spiral notebook. On the other hand, Maruke wrote hers in a comp composition notebook. I can already see Manoke's persistent handwriting, pristine handwriting from where I sit. Nazusuke and Yuri uh, re reluctantly comply as well, reaching out into their bags. I do the same myself. Alright, who do you want to share it with? Uh, eeny meeny miny mo, catch you by the toe, if he hollers let him go, eeny meeny. Well, my mother says to pick the very best one, and you are it. Red, white, blue, I pick you. Monica. Alright, Monica it is. Start with Monica. I start with Monica. Yesterday seemed to eager to read my poem, and I want her to know I'm putting effort. You can put in so much effort, you just made random words. Hi. Er Have a good, good time so far. Ah, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever get any suggestions for the club, like new activities, or things we could do better, I'm always listening. Always Yo, listening. Yo, how about we take off our clothes? That's, that's for later. Don't Yo. be afraid to bring things up, okay? Like you're hot? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, sure. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going to the flow, going with the flow. But I'm more settled than. Anyway, wanna share your phone with me? Nah, B. Well, what the fuck you doing? Here? It's it's kind of embarrassing. I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Earth. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's the sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. Could have stayed there. I'm sorry. <laughs> I heard Monica my poem. Mm hmm. I like it, Earth. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Yo! <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. It's kind. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write, and she's a good writer too. So, take that as a compliment. I'm not backhand dissing you. Nah. <laughs> Alright then. If you say so! A little crazy. Yep. By any chance, have you read anything by Shel Silverstein? Yes! Eh? Maybe a long time ago. He's famous for telling all kinds of stories with just a few simple words. His poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. But sometimes, they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. <clears throat> so, you're saying that Natsuke is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably wouldn't find much filler in their poems. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning to. So, I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. <clears throat> I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing things. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little a bit biased towards their own kind of styles. But... I'll always uh, help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write anything where the way uh, to write the way everybody else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. 
you sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I'm. I have to sound confident. I'm the boss. It doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. Ah, I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. Are you gonna fucking scroll? There we go. Okay. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the sparkle protrudes. A noisy neighbor. An angry boyfriend. I never know I wasn't home. Don't fucking blame me. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind like film left out of the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with the permanent copy of meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It wasn't too deep. A hole can't be bright. Stretching, <laughs> stretching forever into <laughs> everything. A hole at <laughs> infinite choices. I realize now I wasn't Good looking in. The hole. in. Thank you. I was looking out, and he on the other side was looking in. Thank you. So, what do you think? Hmm. It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry. I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Yeah, yeah it's okay. It's because you don't understand. It's dumb. Yeah, it's the kind of style that gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between the words and the lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What, what was in the inspiration behind this one? Ah. Ah. Nah. Well, I'm not sure how to put it. I guess you could say it is some kind of. I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been <laughs> epiphany. Yeah, it's been influencing my poems a lot. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk to, uh, about deep stuff like that because it comes off strong. Maybe after everyone's better friends, yeah, with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes, when you're writing a poem, or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try hard, if you, if you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to keep think tidy. about this, yeah, keep it tidy, my boy. Another way to think about this, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a dark puddle, uh, a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand. Go with the flow. That's my advice. Thanks for listening. Fuck you. I, well, I, I'm the boss. Oh, what? We have to read all the poems? <laughs> you gotta go through all of them, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, who's next? Uh, eeny, meeny, meeny, mo. Catch a dagger by the hoe. If he hollers, go. Eeny, meeny, meeny, mo. Uh... Okay. Is that right? That's no, okay. That's no, okay. Da, oh god. Da, da, da. Question mark? <laughs> okay, well, let's get started with things I don't like. First of all, um. Double thought. Nazuke rereads my poem. N never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Eh? That, but then what's the point of you sharing it in the first place? <laughs> so totally you. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote this, but I could have been doing other things. It is me. <laughs> oh. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poem? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Yeah, like Monica said. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like you're <laughs> fucked. I mean, hey. Well, I would I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was if yours was really bad. You're supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha! Well, that's not great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you ain't ruined it. I hope you're happy. Thought of that. So, in other words, you're saying you like it? <clears throat> now, Suke resorts, retort gets caught in her throat. You're so... You just... You don't want to say anything, do you? I already told you that. I don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're so self-important and everything. Pretty sure you never actually said that. 
Oh, I say that most mostly to myself. That's Natsuke must really hate me or something. I can't figure it out. If it was to win or lose, she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? <sighs> Fine, I guess. Well, because Monica will make me feel dumb. Fucking masterpiece here. <laughs> Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Genius. <laughs> yeah. I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that it was wouldn't, wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing is to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems is people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make any of your messages less vague, valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like this poem. Or a sick acid trip. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. I can write. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight in the wordplay. Words can play. Like, I set up the rhyme at the end, but then it made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feelings of the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than more into it went than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I really don't care how old everyone is, but if not so good at feeling like proud of it, then I won't take it away from her. Alright, two left. <sighs> Uh, you pick. Uh, I'll get my last reading one out of the way. I guess they already. Oh God, I have to do Frieza. <laughs> you gotta do Frieza, yeah. This is a good poem. Alright. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. And am I the kind of guy who would be writing in his spare time? Yeah, I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or, you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you just wrote one. It just seems to me that you're really part of this club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of the room in the club. Uh, oh, that's you. <laughs> uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before. Hey. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for being for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Surya. I'm not sure if Surya sees my, the full picture of my moot motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I do it. Doing how much this means to her, after all. Yeah! And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold on. How'd you do that then? Yay! Now you read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this! Man, they have so much <laughs> Yeah, right? <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine! Oh god, this is gonna kill my throat by tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, I, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. 
But I'm not bad. I want breakfast. Nice. <laughs> 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 it's a great ball. Yeah. I want breakfast. <laughs> I want breakfast. Gloria. <laughs> 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 this is this is just a guess, but did you wait till the morning to write this? No, just a little J bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. It's not trying my best. I just wanted breakfast. Ah, yeah. I didn't mean to say it in a bad, it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how I said, oh, should I put it? it sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially the last line. I made eggs and toast! <laughs> Even though you were late for school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky and shit. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> it was so much fun. Monica is the best. I just say things. Ah, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. I'm going to write a poem. It's the best poem ever. Well, I guess I can look forward to it. Yeah, you can. God. <clears throat> All right, I just did three different voices. You can do this, Frieza. Oh God. <laughs> dot dot dot. Hmm. Dot dot dot. Guri stares at the poem. A minute passes more than enough time here to finish reading. Um. Oh. Sorry, I forgot to start speaking. Uh, um, it's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through, though. Ah, uh, it's... so it's that bad? No! Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm sorry. Yuri buries her face into her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gone anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Um. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick it up from them. I think the most notable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very difficult. Double liberty. In other words, they tend to pick up writing styles separate from the topic matter and then form it into two together. The end result is in both and style extensively are weakened. Once your friends find your train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammer. That was not stammer her. Oh. <laughs> Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. And that's right. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. <clears throat> there are so many different <laughs> skills and techniques that go into simple poem. Fuck. <laughs> <clears throat> not just finding them, but building them and getting the work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes from practice and learning by example when trying new things. It also 
I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuke can be a little bit based, though. Biased, though. Biased? How? Uh, um. Well. Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about other people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Nuri is apologetic, apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuke. Oh wait, that was the narrator. Oh wait. <laughs> <laughs> you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, it's supposed to be a literature club. There you go, nice and short. Thank God, thank God. Ghost under the light. The tenderness of my hair. I can't read the script. The tenderness of my hair illuminates beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by this, the, flick, the flickering blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the, pra of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. I honestly couldn't read a single word of that. So <laughs> glad you did that. No problem. <laughs> XX. Oh, wait. XX? That's what it said. It went XX. <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought it was dot dot dot. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have such a terrible handwriting. What? I was thinking that. I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you so long to read it. See? See? That would have been me. <laughs> that would have been me real long if I can't read script. <laughs> ah. Well, I just don't read script very often. See, that's me! <laughs> that's me! <laughs> I, rem I actually remembered this line specifically. So right as you were like, oh, fuck, I can't read script, I was like, oh, this character is Joe. <laughs> yeah, it's me! By the way, for those of you guys watching, I've never played this game before, so this is all brand new to me. Yeah, we probably should have mentioned it at the very, very beginning, which we didn't. I've seen a playthrough <laughs> yeah. of this game, and my girlfriend played it. Joe, I just heard about it today. <laughs> yeah, we like, Ryan told me a little review about it i'm like let's do it so i had no clue a single bit of dialogue in this game yeah he has no idea i actually think your hammering is pretty eh? that's a relief also i like the poem even though it's short it really is descriptive it wasn't too short i usually write longer poems you're like, oh god, no. He's like hurting my chest now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not all bad. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Sometimes, something easy to digest. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't a ghost at all. Really? I must have totally missed the point. That was you. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance up after all. But I remember that poets often express their own thoughts feelings and experience in their own work. They usually do more than that simple stories or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem really only symbolically, symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of her past. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it in there that way. I hadn't even thought of that. 
That's impressive. <laughs> it's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Woo! She was right. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for our mediocre writing about... Even if they... If they're just being nice, there's no way that my poems can stand up theirs. This is literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sawyer and Monica and are happily chatting. And my eyes landed on Yuri as Natsuke. They're generally exchanging sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuke's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, you smile sadly. What's with this language? <laughs> um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuke miss demissively returns the poem to the desk on one hand. Guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Yours is cute. God, cute? Up. Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh. You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um. Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and Er did too. So, based on that, I'd gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing... I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly impre- Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, that voice is hard to do. Yeah. <laughs> Which I haven't yet. Oh god. N N How much longer is this game? Oh, we're like we 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 still got a little bit. Oh, it's almost over? No. Oh god. That's why I, in, the, in the beginning I was like, you might want to not use that voice. Is uh you're <laughs> you gonna save your stuff? progress? Yeah, there's a, a save button right here. All right, maybe we should uh, end it here. All right. My voice is destroyed. Yeah, I just realized it's getting late too. So, all right, we'll end it off here. Well, please. This might be multiple parts, so. Uh... This is definitely gonna be multiple parts. <laughs> so we'll see you guys Whoops. next time. Well, it saved twice. Nice two copies. All right, see you guys then. Bye. Bye. Twenty.